This is the Magna Ant. With six legs of work ethic, the Magna Ants are very hard workers, and with their dedication to queen and colony, they have very little self-preservation. Hello everybody, this is the Exargula Magna Ant. This is our very first ant insect in the game, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. This is the male Magna, and it seems like it's about the size of maybe Concavenator or Serato. I don't know, but let's check our next one. Then we have the Fire Ant. It's got smaller eyes, smaller butt over here. I don't know what it's called. And then there's more spikes along the back here. Our next one is Army. It has much longer mandibles here, and you can see that the abdomen is a little bit bigger. The waist is a lot smaller than our previous one, the fire ant, but it looks pretty cool. The driver ant here has got the short mandibles back again and right here, I think it's the thorax is a lot bigger than the other previous two. Still small waist here and it looks like it has like no eyes. This vampire ant is just thicker all around. You can see the legs, the head, thorax here and the abdomen all just bigger. The trap jaw here has a bigger abdomen, smaller waist, bigger head, smaller abdomen size and kind of curved downwards mandibles here. This bulldog subspecies is just like a much smaller trap jaw. Everything else is pretty much the same though. And then back to Magna. All right, let's check out the female skin right quick. It's not any different than the male. All right, <laughs> calls right quick. First up is broadcast. That's wild. I have no idea if ants make that kind of noise, but it's an interesting clicking broadcast. Let's do a two call. Oh, that's actually kind of cute and kind of works really well for this ant. Threaten. Hmm, I can see how that's aggressive. Four call. Ooh, I really like the animation, but the sound just sounds like the broadcast. But the animation is top tier, honestly. Really good four call. Talk. Oh, this is a little quick gurgle there. Shake. Oh my god, it basically just did a dance. Oh my gosh. I guess they don't need to shake. Uh, scratch. Oh, just clean the antenna there. Okay, that's cute. And then our invite is the same as our two call. All right, here's the baby model. It won't let me zoom in any closer to give you guys more of an up close look, but it basically looks like the adult, but it's just this entire beige color, which is really cute. And I think super fitting for the ant. So really, really nice. Let's go through our calls right quick. First we have broadcasts. Seems basically like the adult. Two call? Yeah, it looks like all of these are gonna be the same as the adult. Threaten? Four call? There you go. Talk? <laughs> it's just like a what's up head nod. Shake? Getting jiggy with it. Oh, all right. And our scratch. Clean in our mandible a little bit. Our antenna, not our mandible. All right, let's check out some of the baby animations to see our walk. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but the sound of them walking, this rapid footsteps is insane. It turns pretty well, look at that. That's just the walk and he was already moving like super rapidly. Run. It's even faster, oh my God. The sound of the footsteps are probably gonna drive me insane. It doesn't feel that much faster than the walk though. See if we have a jump. Ooh, we do. Whoa, I've never seen an ant jump. Wow. <laughs> Be a skydiver. Oh, that's so much fun. I love that. I hope the adult can jump too. All right, and here's the adult Magna. Like I said, it's probably around Concavenator, maybe Serato size, but it is way bigger than the baby. That's for sure. But uh, let's do some of the adult animations, okay? Oh, this is way I can I can deal with these footsteps, but the baby's footsteps were killing me on the inside. This looks really good, though. I feel like movement with six legs has got to be like hard to animate and make look good. So I'm glad that this is working as well. It is run. OK, the legs are moving a little too fast and I feel like we're not going the speed that we should be like the speed doesn't match how fast the legs are moving, really. Uh, let's see if we have a jump. Hey, we do! <laughs> and it's just as high as the baby. Look at that. We splay our arms out. That's so amazing. I like it. Oh my god, I'm just gonna be doing this all day. 
<laughs> That's so cool. Uh, do we have a sit? Oh, we do. Okay. Mmm, doesn't really look like we're sitting, to be honest. Uh, sleep? Oh, okay. We go all the way down when we sleep. They don't have eyelids, huh? So they can't, like, close their eyes or anything. I don't know. Do ants actually sleep like this? I don't know. Tell me how accurate that is. Uh, get up. Yeah, pretty much just reversed animation. Can we crouch? Oh, we can. Barely looks like a crouch, though. You do move slower and a little slightly quieter. Uh, let's try our precise movement. Here's our turn in place. It's pretty fast, actually. That's pretty, pretty fast. To our left. Ooh, that's a little janky. You can definitely see there that the animation is a little off for that. To the right. Yeah. That still has to be worked on. Back up. The backup is really fast. Back up and turn, also really fast. So that's good. Still janky. A little bit. The legs pop, everything. All right, here's our Disturb Burrow animation. Oh, okay. I don't know, it looks a little awkward, but I would expect that to be the case since, you know, they usually dig tunnels and stuff. That's just what ants do. It's kind of wild that they can dig with those legs. All right, I have a meat chuck here. We hold it in our mandibles, but it doesn't really look like we're holding it. Oh, it just went away. All right, and now we're going to eat from the body. Yeah, just kind of like moving stuff around with the mandibles. Not anything too big. All right, here's our drinking animation. Ooh, really good. Splayed out. It's kind of like a giraffe, the way giraffes drink. All right, here's our swimming anime. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no ants do not do well in water apparently that looks wild that's really terrifying to see speed swim oh decent speed swim speed pretty cool looks really awkward from under the water though all right let's take a look at the skins right quick this is the default male magnet ant next we have chrysalis cuckoo roughneck tigress inferno black knight warmonger gymnetics and widow i really like this one but i like black and white i mean black and yellow but they're really good for the most part all right let's check out the abilities it looks like we have an extra census slot here for the colony gain 10 percent increased armor within 50 meters of other ants in your group stacks up to four times. That's pretty cool. Head slots. We have bite causes medium damage. Steel trap charge up the attack and inflict damage. And then clamp bite and hold onto enemies for as long as your stamina allows can move and drag them around. Senses. We have balanced balance class for those who want to use vanilla stats for magna. Then we have scout. Scout has 15% stam recovery, 25% incoming damage and 5% movement speed. So you're gonna take more damage, but you get faster stam and faster speed. Then you have warrior. Warrior class has minus 15% incoming damage, minus 10% speed, but you do 15% more damage. Then worker. Worker has 50% less hunger and water drain and less attack damage. That's a lot. I guess if you're starving, you could use that, but man. Metabolism. Omnivore, we eat just about anything. Oh, pretty cool. Hide. We have spiky shell attackers take damage. So like Pycno and Serato legs. We have pounce. Oh, OK. Latch onto another creature, allowing you to perform attacks and other abilities. Release from the latch by jumping will automatically release when out of stamina. Deal 50 percent less damage while latched. See, like what's the point of latching, though, if you deal less damage? Like, I don't know. Tactical retreat. Plant your jaws in the ground and spring backwards. Oh, kind of like the Utah's like a uh, back jump. Then two slots for tail. We have Formic Sting. Use your stinger to inflict damage and bleed. Usable only when pouncing. And then Sting. Use your stinger to inflict damage and bleed. I'm guessing that does more damage and bleed than this one. All right, let's go through the abilities right quick. First up, we have Bite. That's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And that does medium damage. One more time. Looks good. Low cooldown. Next, we have Steel Trap. Basically a charge bite. Hold. Ooh, I like the sound for that. All right, next we have Pounce. You have to jump to use this ability. So walking forward, jump. There you go. Kind of like a spider jump, basically. From the front for you guys. We're walking forward. We jump. Yeah, there you go. Next would have been Formic Sting, but you have to be pounced onto a creature to use, so I can't demonstrate it here, but it will do bleed and damage to the creature. Obviously, it's going to do less damage than if you were just running around biting, because that's just what it says in the description. But just so you know, you can only use it when pounced. Next is just regular Sting. 
Uh, yeah, it's just a downward spine. So if you're being tail ridden, you probably want to use that quite a bit. Doesn't have a really long cooldown at all. Lastly, we have tactical retreat. Whoa, you go really far. But yeah, it's basically like a back dash like Utah has if you've seen the Utah Raptor mod. Um, but that was really cool. I do love that animation for that. Next, we have plant. Oh, it's basically just the same bite animation. They should be able to carry a lot if they keep the kind of like 10 times their weight stat ability of like ants in real life. So that would be interesting to see. And that seems to be about it for Magna Ant here. My thoughts on the mod is the footsteps when they're running fast and as a baby are too much for me. It's way too loud and very distracting. And I know it would get on my nerves personally, but it might not bother other people. Um, it has some really good skins, some really good abilities. They weren't as interesting as I thought they were going to be. You know, I was expecting a little bit more, but still really, really cool kit. Very, very useful. And the Magna Hand is freaking huge. So I think it'll be pretty decent in battle, especially in a group, just because it also relies more on bleed than raw damage. We don't have any abilities to increase bleed output, which I think would be nice if they gave it like a call or a sense to do that. But I'm very, very interested to see how it actually plays out and how we take down other creatures with it. Cause it's very, very different than what we have so far. Not very many insects in the game. But yeah, everybody, thank you so much for watching. This was Magna Ant. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you check out some of my other videos. I cover a lot of different creatures as well as games you might not have heard of. So thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing and I will see you in the next video.